Customer identity access management is not only about customers. The C in CM can also mean citizens or consumers. And we also talk about these are things like partners and other third parties who are external to your organization. So identity access management, often people think more about workforce. They think about their own employees. They think about people in their active directory or in their HR system as identity, as an identity system. CM is all about the people who aren't in your HR system, who aren't uh, employed by you. And these users have uh, very interesting characteristics. First of all, compared to the number of users in your HR system or in your, in your Active Directory, the number of people outside your organization who interact with your organization online is typically 10, 100,000 or even millions times the number of uh, employees that you have. So there's a question of scale in, in the CM system where a CM system needs to be able to handle large number of users, large number of roles, and very large numbers of connected applications. The CM system is used by these external users who are not bound by an employment contract. They don't go through formal employee training. They don't have very high incentives to follow instructions given by, by you. They're typically customers who are expecting smooth customer service, they want things to be easy to use. They don't want to read any manuals or go through any training to use a system. So a customer identity access management system is highly tuned to be very easy for the end user to use. It uses different language, different workflows, different uh, techniques and technologies to make it very easy to help the user to not only sign in, to register for an account, manage and look at their account, cancel their account, or reset their credentials, such as their password, change their username, change their name, all in a self-service method. So the user themselves should be empowered and be able to, to do those things online without calling a help desk, making expensive support requests through support systems. They should be empowered to do that themselves. And in many jurisdictions, it's clearly regulated uh, how the user should have access to their, their own data and, and services uh, such as this, this in, a, in as easy way as possible. A customer identity access management typically includes functions about letting the user see what access they have in a system, allowing them to request more access to various parts of the service, allowing a user to request access either from the service owner or from another company. Ubi Secure CM system offers powerful functionality around delegation of access rights, not only within your own family, within your own company, but also across companies so that you can invite, for example, your, your partner to use a service. You can empower your tax agent to do something on your behalf. Or as a company, you can delegate to a contracting company or contracting individual certain parts of certain access to, to online services. In a CIM system, this should all be able to be handled through an online interface using easy to use commands, either provided uh, as part of the software package or through an API. Customer identity access management systems also typically allow multiple ways to sign in using identity systems that the user already has. In consumer facing services, this typically means linking your account to existing online social media accounts, such as Facebook, Google, or LinkedIn. For external employees or external partners, it means allowing them to sign in using their identity systems that their employer offers, such as a Federated Active Directory or Azure Active Directory. In certain industries, external partners may be issued with regulated government identifiers or industry identifiers, such as a smart card for construction workers, a smart card for the healthcare industry, and allow them to, to sign and log in with, with those external identifiers. 
And then federation is, is common to allow large customers, to allow all of the buyers within their organization, or all of the people interacting with your service to sign in using um, their existing federation tools.